Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Greg's Movie Minute. So last week I had no movie suggestions whatsoever, so I picked my own and went with Rogue One because it was one of my favorites. This week I have 14 suggestions. Love it. Uh, some of you guys were putting stuff in the chat. I got some emails. I got 14 movie ideas. Love it. Keep them coming. So there were a couple of those that I could just right off the bat say, mm, we're just not going to do. Uh, for example, John Wick 3. Rated R, not going to do it. Suicide Squad, stupid movie, not going to do it. Live Action Aladdin, not a chance. Just, just, no. And then there was the one that everyone suggested. The one that I desperately did not want to do. Frozen 2. Really? Frozen 2. Thanks, Zoe. So yeah, Zoe was the first to recommend Frozen 2. Everybody else piled on. So now I feel like I have to do Frozen 2. So because I love you, I'm doing Frozen 2. So I went into Frozen 2 assuming, man, this movie is going to be, this is going to be stupid. It's going to be painful. It's going to be contrived. It's going to be silly. I'm not going to like it. Man, turns out I could not have been more right. I just, it was, it was painful. It was difficult for me to watch. Uh, but as, as I went through it, I found there were a bunch of things that I, I actually did kind of like. Uh, there were some obscure like movie references. There's one scene where Elsa is like like sliding down this big slab of ice, and she's clearly in that same posture as Tarzan, right, surfing through the through the trees. Mickey Mouse makes a quick appearance. Uh, there's a clear visual reference to Pride Rock at one point. So I liked some of the the um, little obscure movie references that. That was cool. Um, I think my favorite part was when Elsa sees the the ice memory of herself singing Let It Go and she winces. She clearly doesn't like the song. That was great. I love that. Um, as, as, I, as I looked back, as I went through the movie, I realized, man, there were actually some things that I, that I did kind of like. And I can almost say maybe I enjoyed it because there was some, some really good stuff. Um, it wasn't quite as bad or as horrible as I thought it was going to be. Um, but I only did it because I love you. I sat through this movie that I didn't want to watch because I love you. If I hadn't felt that, that pressure, there's no way that I would have done it on my own. Jesus does the same thing to us. Matthew 5, 43 to 48. Jesus talking to a group of people, talking to you, talking to me. He says, you have heard the law that says, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. In that way, you will be acting as true children of your Father in heaven. For he gives his sunlight to both the evil and the good. He sends his rain on the just and the unjust alike. If you love only those who love you, what reward is there for that? Even corrupt tax collectors do that much. If you are kind only to your friends, how are you different from anyone else? Even pagans do that. But you are to be perfect, even as your Father in heaven is perfect. Jesus is putting pressure on his followers. Jesus is putting pressure on me, on you, to do something that we really don't want to do. Because we look at, at loving our enemies the same way I looked at Frozen 2. No, that's going to be difficult. That's going to be painful. There's nothing that, I, that I'm going to enjoy about that. But as we actually go and do that, we find that it, it is kind of enjoyable. When we do the things that God calls us to do, there is joy. Obeying Jesus is always good. Obeying Jesus always brings joy. So my challenge to you this week, think of someone, think of one person who opposes you. Think of one person who, who hates you maybe. And what can you do this week to show them love. Now, don't confuse the warm, fuzzy, emotional stuff that Disney tries to sell you as love. That's not the love that God is talking about here. How can you see that person the way God sees them? If, if God were to look at that person who opposes you, what would God want to say to do for that person? Then go and do that. If God loves everyone, God loves even the people who hate you. So I challenge for you. Think of one person this week. Pray for that person and find a way to show that person love. 
That's all I got. Right now I have a slew of movies to do, but if you have another one you want to see me do, shoot me an email, gflower at walnuthillcc.org. Uh, keep trusting, keep following. I'll see you next time.